I'm going to show you how to use uh, the text tool and shapes and show you how to use those in combination with each other. So inside of Photoshop, um, I'll grab, so we'll be using the text tool and the shapes tool right here, rectangle. If you click and hold on there, there's a whole bunch of basic shapes in there. And to apply one of these, you just go ahead and just click, hold, and drag uh, to apply. The color is up here, so if I wanted to have that a different color, you change that uh, in there. And it shows up as a separate layer when you use that item. So uh, there's a whole bunch of other shapes you can play with too. If you click and go down to this custom shape tool uh, in here uh, where it shows the shape in there, you can pull up a whole bunch of other shapes. If you're not seeing all the ones that I'm seeing, click on this little arrow <clears throat> and choose all or one of the categories and just click OK to bring those in. Um, so what you can do, once you have a shape in there, you can actually take that <coughs> and uh, wrap text around those. So if I wanted text to go around there, I could grab the text tool, um, choose my, color, my font, my size, and if you just click on the edge of it, what that will allow you to do, and let me resize this to make it a little bit smaller, it will allow you to just type around that shape. Once you get done with that, you could always hide the shape and just have your text show up uh, separately. So that can be kind of a, a cool thing uh, to do uh, with shapes. And you can do that with any uh, of your shapes on there. You just simply choose a shape that you wanted to use. And then go ahead and grab the text tool again. Just click on right on the edges. Make sure you don't click on the middle because that will make it into a text box. So click on the edge and you just type and I'll just start showing that around that until it gets to the end. So there's a couple editing tools you can play with in there. Um, this path selector kind of allows you to push it either to the inside or the outside. It's a little tricky to use. You can kind of drag and drop this thing. Um, it takes a little practice to use that uh, tool on there. So that can be a great thing for you to use. The other thing you can do, you can create your own shapes and to do that, uh, click on this pen tool over here. And the way that this pen tool works is you click on it. You can either click and drag to make a path for it to follow. And then grab the text tool, click right on those edges, and have that follow. And when you're done, you can always hide that uh, piece on there. So that's another option you have. Uh, you could also come in here and uh, with that pen tool you could draw your shape with this uh, free forming pen tool. It's a little bit easier, just click and drag. Some people like using that and just click on the edges of that. Okay. The other thing you can do um, with shapes and the pen tool in combination is using them as text boxes. So whatever your shape is, come in here, click and drag to make your basic shape and then grab your text tool and if you click directly inside, you'll notice it changes a little bit shape. Single click. Let me make this a little bit smaller. And then you just start typing in there and it'll pull that area in. So it works great for text boxes. Later on, you can hide that if you don't want that to be visible. So there's lots of uh, interesting things you can do with those, those items. And that's your shapes and your text tool. Photoshop.